Hi everyone. I wanted to come on here and show you guys how I set up my note pages for my next year's planner. I have not gone through the front pages yet. I still have to use my transparent dots to mark some stuff for next year. And I still have to go through um, that this page. I haven't decided what I wanna do with this front page yet, but I will let you guys know or show you when I'm when I figure it out. So my note pages in the back. A lot of people leave them blank. I actually set up just a few for me how I can track some things. I've seen a lot of really good ones. One of my favorites is the visual board. I love doing one for 2020. I did one for last year, 2019, and I loved it and I decided to do it again. I'm keeping this space over here for next year in January I like to do it so I did this one in my old planner as you can see right here that's my old one and I changed it a little bit to fit here so it looks a little bit cleaner and then this side can be for next year so I love having little quotes on things that I need to do, learn to say no, quarantine highlights, obviously that wasn't on the planner before, and then self-care things that I need to remember to do for myself. My yearly verse is the same. My goals are pretty much the same, the same except for um, weekend getaways. Obviously that's not happening right now. So, um, and be a light. That song has been on repeat for me. So yeah, that's my vision board. And then I have a bookworm page where I, every book that I read, I write down the, the title of the books and I can see how many books I've read. If I need to add more, I can always add more, like add another shelf here. I, I'm trying to read a lot more, but Sometimes it's just difficult with how busy with the kids and everything. And then this side is home projects. I love how this turned out. I've usually been a lister, so I can show you. Last year it was just home projects in a list, which works and I get to see how much I need to save for. Uh, none of these have been done yet because that's a lot of money. But this year I thought, how cool would it be to do more of a like Bujo kind of style, like a bullet journal, make it kind of cute, check off ones that I've done. I really like how this turned out. I, these stickers right here are from Lily Henry. And then these transparent squares are from Planner Kate. And then I just found something on Pinterest that looked like this and I kind of made it my own. And I, I really am excited about how it turned out. The next page is my birthdays. So instead of just listing it out, I thought I would make it pretty. They're all in balloons. They all have their own balloon for every month. And I can reference that when I need to going into monthly planning or weekly planning. It's kind of there for me. The next page is my quotes page. So this is different than I did last year. I didn't have my doodles in there like last year. I only had this, which it's not completed, but I love having quotes that I hear from pastors or I love having quotes that I see online just to reference and to use when I need to. So I thought, why not make it cuter? So I did some quote doodles and I'm hoping that they all fit in here and I can show you guys what it looks like when it's done but that's it I let I left the these two pages blank just in case I need them or I find another idea that I really liked so I have three blank note pages in the back that I'll just leave for right now just because the planner hasn't started yet but for now I have my sections set up the way that I want them set up and I love how it turned out. That's how I set up my note pages. 
What I use, I can show you, is the first thing I always do is I always use a pencil to draw my doodles. And I, obviously it's a Christmas tree eraser, but it's a good eraser. I think it's from Target Dollar Spot. But I always draw something out in pencil first, just so I can get my spacing correct. I always use a ruler. So if I wanted to do something, I could, you know, it's there for me and then I can easily rework it if I need to. The second thing I use is a Papermate Flare. That's what I've used on all of these. It does not bleed. So you can see in the back, it doesn't bleed. The only time I had something bleed was when I used a microperm. And I started to use a microperm on these because I was like, oh, well, it, it's a smaller tip and it, I need it to be small. And then I realized that, yeah, those bleed. So my flare does not bleed on these pages because the paper is such good quality. So try to you don't use a permanent pen or even a micron, it'll bleed. These are great for stickers. This one I use all the time. It's my favorite, favorite pen in the whole world. Papermate Flare, black, and it's just perfect. So if you guys have any questions about the video or anything that I've done so far in my new planner, just let me know and I would be happy to answer them. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.